Look at this. Look at this uh, news item. Large potential Albanian. That's right there in the Kosovo area. Oil and gas discovery underscores. Kosovo's importance. One reason that I read 10 years ago that they staged the invasion was because they found oil, uranium, silver, nickel. There it is. Oh. There, there is a confirmation. Al-Qaeda helped again to take over the f country. Now let's look at the United States itself, okay? Oh, well, we have to get 60% of our oil from foreign sources. Really? Well, look at this. The Bakken Oil Formation. Welcome to the next oil boom. The U.S. Geological Survey has just published its official results of a groundbreaking study. Over uh, up in North Dakota, who would have believed it? South of North Dakota and Montana. They have found a store of oil that could last America, could take care of all of our oil needs for a thousand years in South of North Dakota. Final segment with Tex Mars, then Michael Hoffman coming up. We're going to take this break and then be right back. We're doing behind-the-scenes interviews. If you're an InfoWars.com internet stream, listener or PrisonPlanet.tv viewer, we'll be right back. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. It is the final segment with Tex Mars. I'm going to recap briefly what's happened with the Deborah Jean Palfrey murder. And that's even what mainstream television is saying. Before we finish up with how they're having these contrived artificial scarcities, Tex, in this key area that you're exposing, um... You said you were watching Nancy Grace, and she was saying this is suspicious. We played some clips from Fox where they're saying it's suspicious. I mean, this is getting ridiculous when the prostitute under her, who was a college professor, uh, going to get a, like an extra Ph.D. at the time, was facing six months in jail and, and hung herself, saying she was going to shoot her mouth off. And then now uh, she's telling everybody, you know, if they kill me, you know, I was killed. I'm not going to kill myself. Then they have this government spook type come out and who makes up all this stuff and has a history of it, saying, "Oh, she just called me and said she was going to kill herself." <laughs> and then the media runs with that. I mean, they are really getting desperate. Well, they're getting desperate, but they're also getting bold. I mean, they're shameless. And by the way, the Nancy Graces, the Fox News, we'll see how far they go with this because this is an explosive issue, and it could go up, uh, as you mentioned, to uh, the McCain's and. The, Ch uh, the Cheneys and so forth. Uh, I think we, we also need to look for Vicki Iceman. You know, is she still available? Is she still alive? Where is she? Did you hear about this weird thing? You with know, McCain's, uh, yeah. you know, little girl that uh, he was having a little teet to teat with. Well, the, there was a high-level CIA operative who did things with a police chief and CIA director and was all over TV and headed up uh, one of the uh, regional, uh, you know, intelligence uh, agent groups, uh, clubs, and the cops reportedly started chasing him. He ran, and, and then he stops. Well, first they said he ran. He didn't run. He gets out of the car nicely, and they blast him. So it turns out the first story mm -hmm. was a lie, and it's on video. The cop just walks up. The guy's there, and the cops shoot him. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we know they have hitmen on the police forces in every major city, especially Houston, as one of the worst. Uh, I mean, now there's a lot of weird stuff's going on. And, and this it local is. Palestinian had Israelis with machine guns running around in his yard, the neighbors said. Uh, and he was an activist, peaceful activist. He was a school teacher, and then they tortured him to death and duct tape all over his body, threw it in the river, and the APD first said, oh, yeah, he was murdered. I talked to people at TV stations that heard the scanners, and the police said that, too, that, yeah, we thought he was murdered. And then, no, the higher-up said, no, 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 this is quite normal to be all tied up and sliced up. Yeah. <laughs> well, sir, it goes all the way back to the LBJ uh, era when a guy was, uh, you know, shot 32 times in the back. And they said he committed suicide uh, because he was one of the guys that knew the, the, the truth about the voting irregularities. But that's when you know it's the, the government. the Johnson uh, election. Because if it's a normal uh, murder, they'll actually go around and maybe investigate. But when yeah. it's a government op, you could, I mean, the cops walk up and execute this guy, and they're saying, oh, it's no big deal. You know, Alex, I've known you for quite a while now. I know your, your precious wife, uh, Violet. You're, you're you're a happy guy because you love to expose evil in the world. I think it gives you happiness to does, do that. And thank God for that, that kind of attitude. And that's why I'm going I'm to say it right now. Alex Jones would never, ever, ever commit suicide. Neither would Tex Mars. No, no, I don't even believe that's, that's silliness. They're going to have to torture me all the way to Are death. Are you kidding? I want to yeah, live yeah. as long as possible. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, I'm enjoying fact, what I'm doing. I wake wife, up with a smile. I told my wife, I want to be resuscitated. I want to be Darth <laughs> Vader. I mean, I, do not unplug me if I'm going to come over 20 years. I told her. I mean, I want full. <laughs> well, here's the whole thing, though. We see with the Palfrey case. It doesn't matter that you go on the air and tell everybody, I will never commit suicide. They're going to kill you anyway, because they think they can cover it up. 
they're that bold now. Here you and I are right here on on national radio and TV. We're saying we will never kill ourselves. We're and we and people know that. But if we're ever suicided, you know, that they don't care. Even though people are going to remember the fact, hey, I'll listen to Alex and text that day, they'll never kill themselves, and we never would. But, but I mean, I made the joke last week and a month ago, I, I say they're going to start killing us on TV with them shooting us and say it's suicide, and now they're basically doing that in Houston. One of the, one of the things that happens here is this does create fear. If they can kill this Palfrey girl who's had all this visibility, who might they kill? I mean, if the little people of the world have no chance at all, if they could kill an Alex Jones or a Tex Morris or a, a Deborah Palfrey, this is the fear. I think they may even enjoy the fact that a, that a person like Pal yeah, Palfrey can say, I would never kill myself. And the next thing you know, they're claiming she committed suicide. So, so I think this is another way of creating this psychological alchemy well, also, of fear in I the agree. population. But, well, also the way they hung her in the shed. You know, she pulls up under the little carport, little thing outside a trailer. You know, they, they stun gun her. They take her in and hang her. That's their fate, just like they killed the other girl that worked for her. I mean, I mean, what if they killed ten of her girls? Yeah. I yeah. mean, it just gets more and more. But but they do run the risk of losing all credibility. I mean, Congress has an 11% approval rating. Bush has a 30%. That's right. That's right. And And here again, we go back to this energy situation, to the food situation, to the water situation. What? What Americans need to do, what listeners need to do that are, that are hearing us today, we need to go to the sources of truth, and we need to discover the fact that the world has plenty of oil, plenty of food, plenty of water, and we can get much more through increased technology, which we have. Right now, with new, the new drilling technology, let me, let me tell you, we can go to the middle of the Atlantic and go down thousands of feet and bring up all the oil that we would ever need for 10,000 years. And so we need to say, you're lying to us. Just like with 9-11, we need to prove these people that they're nothing but a bunch of inveterate liars. Speaking once of, we do that, of, we can turn things around. Speaking of new drilling technology, I have a uh, uncle, uh, and they drilled on his property a couple months ago, mm -hmm. 16,000 foot well. Wow. And, I mean, it's like the spindle top. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it is. Just, that's, that's more than three miles down, you see. They got a 12-inch pipe on it. Mm. Well, of course, if we do have global warming, then they can just pull those those uh, uh, icebergs over to the coast, and there's trillions of barrels of water. Of, of course, there's... We don't we, uh, we we have the resources. People need to understand that we have the food. When I was a young man, people were starving in India. Would you believe that with new agricultural methods and technology, India now feeds itself and even uh, you know exports, which uh, really makes the globalist such. mad. Of course. So we have incredible amounts of desert land that's being turned into uh, through uh, you know arable uh, uh, water uh, uh, driven. Formland. There will always be enough food in the world. By the way, I've seen a bunch of studies. Um, they go, those are oil company studies. No, no, these are the, these are studies separate. You know, just studying plants. Plants will like as much as 14 times higher carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. They use less water, live longer, or healthier. And they're now doing studies showing desertification is in periods with low carbon dioxide. And they're reporting from ice cores going back millions of years, but the really reliable ones, 200,000. This is the lowest level of carbon dioxide ever. Mm -hmm. And they're saying it is massively associated with desertification. And that, and then sure enough, because it did spike the last few decades, now it's going to start going back down, suddenly there was more of a greening. Mm -hmm. The plants need it. And then they create more oxygen, which they've now shown that mammals like higher levels. We're in a starved level right now. Well, of course, nature will take care of that on its own without man-made uh, uh, solutions. Let's go back to this oil uh, uh, situation. Yeah. I mentioned the, the Bakken oil formation in North and South Dakota, but there's a bigger one. Out in the Gulf of Mexico in 2004, uh, BP Oil, Exxon uh, Mobil, uh, and another one of the, uh, the large uh, multinational conglomerates found the largest reservoir store of oil ever found in the United States. This dwarfs everything. It, it means that America will have enough oil for thousands and thousands of years in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, when they discovered this in 2004, they said that, that the, the oil could be co begin coming out of that area uh, within a decade, within a decade. That means six years from now. So you would think the oil futures would already be 
taking that into account. Imagine. Now, they say that this is so much they've laid it off. Uh, they've laid most of it off limits. I, I, they found a 600-square-mile one off the coast of Louisiana, I know, in the 70s, and then they just said it was a refuge. Well, the, the, the same thing down in Mexico. Now, I think what we're, we're going to see, see some lies. There's going to be reasons why they can't get that oil. For example, Mexico, you know, Pemex, the oil company down there, they have been keeping that oil in the ground. The, uh, Mexico is a very poor nation. Three times the resources we have, though. We have, they want the tens of millions of illegal aliens to, to attack and come into an They don't America. want them to have money down there. Right.